Hey guys, what's up? It's Stephanie. So for the video today, I'm going to vlog basically what a day or more like what a Friday is for a PA school student. So just in case for those of you that are interested, I'm going to vlog my entire day. I didn't vlog it uh, from the moment I woke up because honestly, like when I wake up, guys, I look, I look like a zombie. Like I'm so tired. And right now I'm running on like five, five hours of sleep. And it's been like that almost every day this week. So I'm sorry guys, but I just look so bad um, when I wake up. So um, it's Friday morning. It's actually, what time is it right now? It's 7.28. Um, I have class usually at eight, but since I have exams on Monday, one of my classes was canceled since we had finished the material on Wednesday, which I do not mind at all because I really need that sleep. So, um, I was able to sleep in for like half an hour, so it's about 7.28, 7.29. I'm on campus right now. As you can see, I don't have any makeup on. Uh, what I do is to save time is that I'll change, um, and I have my hair done today. I never do my hair. I never dress up, but we have an event today. It's um, an, an event with the medical students and nurse practitioner students and the PA students. So basically, we're going to go to the medical building and we are, they're gonna give us a case and then they just wanna see how we work together to be able to solve the case. So we were required to dress nice and also wear our white coat. So I have my white coat today too, but I do not dress like this every single day, guys, like at all. Um, I'm usually in just jeans and a t-shirt. Thankfully, my program isn't very strict when it comes down to that. So I'm able to wear t-shirts and jeans and not do my hair if I want to, which is most of the case because I'm just always so tired. So today is an exception, hence why I decided to vlog. So yeah, I am here at 7.30 now and I don't have makeup. I usually bring my makeup bag in my car so when I park here, I can get a par good parking space because if I come usually like at 7.40 or a little bit later, all the parking spaces are gone, but it's on a Friday, so Fridays aren't that busy, which is pretty good. Um, but I usually just have my makeup bag in my car. That way I just get here early, I can do my makeup, and then I just usually will head to the library and study for about half an hour until my class starts at eight. But since it's gonna class start at 8.30 today, I'll probably study for like about an hour. And the library is just behind me right there. And then, um, I'll usually pregame for class, so basically I'll just usually study the material that's going to be taught. And yeah, so I will vlog the rest of the day. Bye guys. Alright, see guys, as you can see, there are many, many parking spaces, hence why I get here so early. That's the medical building right there. That's where we're going to be having the event today. Hey guys, so makeup is done um i was gonna head to the library but i'm actually just gonna go ahead to the building and i'll probably study on the third floor or second floor so i'll vlog that my class is on the first floor so second and third usually have um, some desks and it's pretty quiet up there so i'll we'll vlog from there bye guys so this is me walking towards my classroom i'm so sorry if it's a little bumpy i tried not to move the camera as much as i could so usually it's about a seven minute walk from my car to where my classroom is. It's usually on the other side of the campus. I usually like to park in front of the library. And this is me actually walking towards where I study before class. So I usually just sit in this area and then I'll study an hour before until class starts, um, as you can tell in this video. So usually before class, I'll just look at my notes so I can be better prepared for the class. So this is me just looking through my notes on my iPad and then from 8 a.m. to 12, we have class. And then at 12, we have lunch. So the next video that you're going to see is my classmates and I, we were actually eating for lunch. And we were actually also getting prepared because that day we had an event with the medical students and the nursing students. So our school is trying to really push for healthcare providers to work together. So this was something that we worked with students uh, they gave us a medical case and we had to come up with a solution and basically how we would treat the patient so it was a really interesting case. hey guys so the video that you just watched so it was what a friday is in pa school i want to apologize because i did not finish the entire vlog 
I was really tired and then that following Monday I had exams so I spent the entire afternoon after the event studying so I'm so sorry I completely forgot to finish my vlog. So I wanted to talk a little bit more about the event that I went to. Um, so basically they gave us a medical case and they gave us a case of a patient that was diabetic. Thankfully during that time we were going during our endocrine module so I knew a lot about diabetes, how to treat it, uh, where it's co commonly most found, how to diagnose it, what to order, glucose levels, etc. So I was very, very familiar with that. So uh, I was able to actually talk about it more um, when we went to go work with the medical students. So what we did is that we went uh, to the medical building because they have their own, their own building. Medical school has their own building. We went there and they joined us PA students, so it was two, it was four PA students, it was one nurse practitioner student, and then it was three medical students. So we were all together in a room, and then we had one resident who was checking in on us. So they gave us a case, and they wanted us together to work together and be able to diagnose a patient, uh, be able to come up with a treatment for the patient, be able to come up with how we're gonna, um, what orders we're gonna uh, run on the patient and how are we going to follow up in this patient and making sure that this patient is healthy. So it was a really, really interesting um, experience because we were able to work alongside with medical students. I learned a lot about the nurse practitioner field, which I was not very familiar with. I had worked with nurse practitioners before in the emergency room, but I was not very familiar with how the schooling worked, um, what they focused on, etc. So. It was really interesting to get to know a little bit more about the nurse practitioner field since we are going to be working with them in the future as physician assistants. It was really also interesting to learn a little bit more about the medical students, um, how medical school is, and also about the residents. So I really, really, really enjoyed this experience. So after we were done discussing with the case, uh, we ended up going to a conference room where we had our professors from both nurse practitioner, nurse practitioner school, medical school, and PA school come together and basically one representative from each group had to get up and just basically talk about how we work together, whether there was any advantages that we saw or any flaws, etc. So um, I was able to talk about that to my fellow professors and like I said I really really enjoyed I, I really enjoyed this experience. Uh, now medical students from what I learned during this experience they take a lot longer in the modules while for example us we only had two weeks in musculoskeletal uh, they'll have four six eight weeks for musculoskeletal so it'll take a lot longer in the module than us PA students of course because PA school is a lot shorter than medical school and so it was really interesting because for them they hadn't gone through the endocrine module so they weren't very familiar with diabetes how hormones worked etc they were actually still in their cardiovascular module and so it was really interesting to be able to teach some of the medical students um, a little bit about their endocrine module they were actually their endocrine module was coming up um, they haven't they hadn't gotten there so I thought that was really interesting in addition overall like I said it was a really really great experience and I'm really happy that our school is doing that because in real life you are going to be working with other healthcare practitioners so I thought it was a great experience. So after we did that, it ended around 6, so from there I just walked across the street, went to the research building, and I studied there till around 11 with my classmates. I have two classmates that I studied with the majority of the time, and we stayed there and studied for our exams since, like I said, we had upcoming exams on Monday. And usually when it's the exam week, it's really, really crappy week because literally, on um, that weekend, I will wake up at 6 a.m. and then I'll study till midnight, like 6 a.m. till 12 a.m. just all day. Of course, I have my breaks where I eat. Um, I go get lunch, I get breakfast, I get dinner. But literally the entire day, guys, I'm studying. So after that, I made sure I went to the research building and I studied from 6 to 11. Went home, went over my flashcards again and studied till midnight. And then went to sleep, woke up at 6 a.m. so I can do the same thing Saturday and Sunday. And then I had my exams on Monday because that Monday I was having four exams. So that's why I was a little freaking out because I felt like I needed to study. 
and I had four exams, so I wanted to make sure that I had enough time to study for every single one of my classes. So that's what my Friday was like. Now, not every Friday is like that. They are very similar, except for this Friday, I had this event um, with the medical school and the nursing school. So, but besides that, usually my Fridays are very similar, as you can see in the video here. Um, very, very similar, but this was just a special event that we had, and I just wanted to talk a little bit more about it. All right, guys, well, thanks for watching my videos, and I will talk to you guys soon.